All right, so let's do a lock update. This is my, damn, I ain't even count it for real. Okay, so February would have been two years. Two years to 24 months. So February to April, April to May. So um, my 29 month lock update. <laughs> As always, I don't have much to update you guys on. I'm really just showing you my progress, my growth, um, some products, some new products that I have introduced into my, my baby's lives. And um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Light source right now isn't all that good. I'm using my laptop, so you guys can't really see texture and anything like that. So I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to the light by the window. Hold on. All right, so... What you see right now is 29 months of growth. And I have to say I'm really happy. I've noticed that my locks uh, have hit some type of growth spurt within these last couple of months. Probably right after my two year, um, I noticed that they were growing. They just started growing out of nowhere. So these are my babies. I did a braid out. Um, last week this is what you see i actually retwisted and um did a braid out because i hadn't retwisted in a while i don't know what is going on y'all like real talk i cannot stand retwisting my hair anymore i can't stand just sitting down and having to do it so what i like to do now is um i like to just retwist like the first three rows in the front but sometimes i go a little further back like i don't go like not a halfway point but like a quarter of the way back and then do a retwist there and then maybe uh retwist like uh maybe about two or three rows in the back and then i just do that because i've just gotten i'm tired of retwisting and i don't want to pay nobody to do it since i know how to do it so i just take the half ass route a lot of the times and then when i'm ready to look really fresh which it's been about two months that i since i did like a full retwist that's um when I normally do it. So this is full retwist. I don't know how I'm gonna do this while holding the laptop and, and then, but yeah. It's my babies. All right, so I'm about to go have a seat now. Now, as far as moisturizing my locks or putting some type of oil in my locks, I can't put on my scalp or put on my locks. I use this. This is the um, Argan Oil of Morocco. This is by, what's the brand? OGX. You see, oh, did I really say OGX? It's organics. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I have to say, I really like it. Not only does it smell good, but um, it just works wonders as far as just giving me that added sheen to my locks. I can't tell you if it's making them any more healthy because I don't know myself, but I just like the sheen that it gives my locks. And I also like the way that it makes my locks smell. And the only other thing I really have to share with you guys is my experience with color. Like within the last couple of months, I've been one color so bad. You guys know that. So if I've experimented with a few things, I tried um, wrapping my locks. And I actually use Kinky Twist hair to wrap around my locks to give me something like highlights. I don't have any pictures, but if you're in a group hour journey or um, a dreadlock movement, you can see that um, my pictures there that I use. And that was pretty cool. Only thing I didn't like is it was hell trying to get it out of my hair. Like um, unwrapping it, pieces of it, like of the hair was actually still in my hair. It was just hell unwrapping that Kinky Twist hair. After doing that, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me try to look at some other ways. So I saw people who were um, using chalk. They were chalking their locks. So I went out and I got some pastel chalks and I colored a few of my locks in the front purple. Cool. Only thing I did not like about the chalk was the simple fact that it transferred like hell. Like anytime you touch your hair where the chalk was, you was going to have it on your hands. Um, if I touched your face, the chalk was going to end up on your face uh clothes it was just messy so then i come across um i forgot the girl's name but she had did a vlog with um the l'oreal hair chalk and i'm like crap you know it's it's like a liquid that you paint on your hair it's super vibrant her hair was black and i'm like this is something i want it's not permanent it's just temporary it looks like it's permanent 
I want to try this though. I got somebody to buy it for me. Here it goes right here. It's kind of messy because you know I have used it. And the color I got was first date violet. Beautiful color. I actually I have these pictures on my Instagram too if you want to go see. Love, 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 love it. I mean, I fell in love with it when I got it, right? So I used it. I left it in my hair for about two weeks. Then I washed my hair. And upon washing it the first time, I noticed that was some left in. Like on these locks up here, it was a lot of it was something that was built up into my lock. I don't want to say built up, but it ended up getting into the inner parts of my lock. So it was no more on the surface of my lock. It got inside of my lock, actually. So I'm like, okay. It's not major. It wasn't that much. So it was to the point where I could actually just kind of dig my nail in and scratch it out. So I was cool with that. Then I was like, you know, I want to put it back in my hair. So I did. Child, after that two weeks was up and that and I washed that second application out, I had the worst, the worst buildup I've ever experienced in my life. And I panicked because I just did not think I was going to be able to get it out. And it didn't leave like built up purple. It was like... A pinkish color whatever the undertone is of this stuff it left it in my hair it was so oh my god it was terrible and I went and looked back on the girls you know blog to see what she did lo and behold she had the exact same problem that I had she couldn't get it out it was stuck she didn't know what to do she tried all different types of methods and she said the last thing that ended up working for her was using um, baking soda came home warmed up a thing of water like a little plastic container of water for about five minutes to get it as hot as I possibly could put some baking soda in it dissolved it in there and then I put my locks in there and let my locks just soak I mean I let them soak for maybe about 20 minutes and then after that I would go and I would wash it with um, some clarifying shampoo and then after that, I still saw some buildup. So then what I did was I did it again. I soaked it again. I might have soaked it like three separate times that night. But after doing that, I, I managed to get the majority of it out. If you look at my locks now, you cannot see anything in them right now. But it, like if you look close enough at some of them, like get in there good enough, you can see little bits and pieces of it still there. But as far as I'm concerned, it's out of there really good for the most part. I really, I really wanted this to be something that I could use on the regular like, I really wanted it to be a product that, you know, since I want to have these temporary changes, that I can use this because it goes on great. However, for locks, it does not come out good. This is meant for use on loose hair, loose natural hair, loose permed hair, loose hair that is not locked hair. Do not use this stuff. It looks wonderful on, but it's hell to get out. And unless you want to go through all that I went through to get this out, don't use it. So anyway, that's that. Um, that's my 29 month lock update for you guys. If you have any questions, you know I'm here. Make sure to, um, you know, thumbs up this video if you like it. If you don't like it, thumbs down and shit. I don't, I, I can't tell you what to do. Check me out on Instagram at Brittany underscore Alange. Um, you can also add me on Facebook, Brittany Alange, A-L-O-N-G-E. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will see you next time.